Good morning. Today we're here at Meyer. We're going to go and check out some of the sales prices for the week. Some of the things you guys have asked about and check the shelves. Let's get to it. As soon as we come into Meyer here, looks like they've got plums on sale for $2.49 a pound. I do have to say these look pretty good. Big sale on blueberries this week. $1.99 for a pint here. Looks like they got two different brands, the Nature Ripe, which these are really good. Uh, no, they're both Nature Ripe, just different uh, stickers. Yeah, $1.99 a pound, or $1.99 a pint this week, which we've been seeing blueberries go as high as $3.49 a pint, so that's a pretty good deal. So front and center here, it looks like they have some of their uh, more expensive apples out here. The Honey Crisp apples right here are $2.79 a pound. Uh, the Cosmic Crisp. $2.59 a pound and the Envy apples are $2.59 a pound. So been getting a lot of comments on honey crisp apples. I will say these are the smaller ones. Over there we saw the really big ones. Um, but these are three pounds for $7.49, which oof, pretty expensive. Fuji apple for a three-pound bag is $4.79. So, you know. I mean, they have been $4.79 for about a week or two. They were $4.59, which was up from $4.29. So over the course of a couple months, it's gone up about $0.50 cents per three-pound bag for some of the regulars like Red Delicious, Fuji, and Pink Lady Apples, Golden Delicious Apples, and Granny Smith and Gala are all $4.79 for the three-pound bags. Driscoll strawberries did go up. Regularly, these were $2.59 on the regular price. They are now $2.69 for one pound. Uh, blackberries went up too. These were $2.39 uh, for six ounces, I believe. Yep, six ounces. Um, now it's $2.49. Now raspberries for the regular price actually went down. These are $3.39 now, which is still way too expensive. But they were $3.59, so 20 cents cheaper for the regular price. Good to see something moving in the right direction. They do have the sweet cherries here. Um, they are $4.99 a pound, regularly $9.69 a pound. So they have their four pound bag of navel oranges here for $6.99. Now we've seen five pound bags for $7.99, so um, not as great of a deal, but it is four pounds. Uh, they do have the mandarins here, three pound, Clementine mandarins for $5.99. They do have the large cantaloupes for eight. I don't know why they call these large cantaloupes. They actually look pretty small, but they are $2.69 this week. Regularly $2.99, so not that great of a deal. $3.89 now for the personal watermelons. I gotta say, these are a little bigger than what the normal smaller personal watermelons look, but they are $3.89 a piece. $4.29 for the honeydew melons. We've been seeing these go for $4.99 at a lot of places, so not bad on those. You know, we've been seeing this more and more at Meyer, and I haven't been showing it as much as I probably should, but they are very low on some produce here. Now, these are the broccoli crowns that I was talking about in, or the, uh, in my other video. These did go up uh, to $1.39. They were $1.29. Um, but at least they have them, I guess. It's been really hard to find broccoli in the stores. They do have broccoli. It is $2.89 a pound. Um, and the Bolt House Farm two pound carrots are $2.09. Not too bad on that. Uh, down here they have the smaller packs, the one pound for $1.09. So you're saving a couple pennies by buying a two pound. Um, but yeah, broccoli's been an issue again. We've been getting comments all over the country. Uh, people been having trouble giving them broccoli. All peaches at Meyer have gone up in price. Um, they have the yellow peaches and white peaches now at $2.99 a pound. They were on sale for less than a dollar a pound last week. That was a pretty good sale. I hope people, uh, I heard a couple people on the channel who bought them up at Kroger and Meyer. So I'm glad you were able to get some. The, the regular price is up from $2.49 a pound to $2.99 a pound. So grapes are also back up to normal here at Meyer. $2.49 a pound for the red seedless grapes and $2.49 a pound for the green grapes but they have shot up the regular price on this to $2.99. The regular price was $2.79 forever and it's $2.49 on sale but we can find better deals. 
So, not that I would buy these anyway, because these are really expensive. They got more expensive too. $4.29 now, that is up from $3.99 of what it was last week. This is ridiculous. Over a dollar a piece for a piece of corn, just because it's already had the husk uh, torn off. So, you know, I, I just, I always buy it, you know, inside the husk because one, it's way cheaper. In my opinion, it keeps it more fresh. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Plus, look how tiny these are. It seems like after the 4th of July, this is just shot up in price. We'll have to check Kroger because I believe they still have some good sales. But I wanted to check this right away. 79 cents a piece. A lot of places have been having it like 5 for $2, 6 for $2. So 79 cents a piece seems a little much. Plus, um, I mean, I don't know. They look okay. I do like this new organic corner that they have here at Myers. I will say, when we look at a lot of these prices, we can compare this stuff very easily to Whole Foods Market. How, you, the Gala Apples, $5.99 for a three pound bag, $5.79 at Whole Food. So a little cheaper there, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, a couple of these were, I think, Granny Smith, which they didn't even have at Whole Foods. It doesn't look like they have them here either. Oh wait, here they are. Okay, so $5.99 for a three pound bag of these. It was $5.99 for a three pound bag at Whole Foods. So it's like when we start comparing organic options, uh, it really does uh, compare to Whole Foods. Mark, I know we got a lot of comments, uh, the whole uh, jokingly whole paycheck and everything, which you could easily spend a whole paycheck in this place. But if you bought all organic stuff, you're going to spend a pretty good amount of money. And as much as I hate to say it here, one of these small Sunset Organic Tomato, Cherry Tomatoes, this is $5.99. $5.99, but I will say, look at those. So the best uh, Cherry Tomatoes I've seen around in a while, and they have the um, Organics, uh, Biolegs, Biologics, Biologics, however you say that. Uh, here's some of the Campari Tomatoes that somebody left on the channel. Look at those. Those do look really good. Um, I don't see a price for these. Let's see. Oh, it might be down here. Okay, $4.99. So, yeah, you are going to pay. You are going to pay a little bit more. Myers prices do continue to go up here, unfortunately. $3.09 a pound for asparagus seems extremely high. Um, it does say local on here, which I've never seen. A little sign that says local in Meyer. So that's interesting. Okay, so I came over to here to the peppers, which have been moved, and these are not organic. And I'll tell you what, I about fainted when I saw the price here. Dollar sixty-nine a piece. Dollar sixty-nine. That is up from a dollar forty-nine last week and a dollar thirty-nine like a few weeks ago. That's unacceptable if you ask me like i will find a sale on that all of a sudden it makes the three pack of peppers for four dollars and 29 cents make more sense but i won't pay this price i will go to aldi or i mean even kroger kroger doesn't charge this much 89 cents too for a green pepper these have been 79 cents forever they did go up to 89 cents a little while ago but still Okay, so I came over here to check out some of the same brands that we saw of the cherry tomatoes over there in the organic section. Now, here's the Sunset tomatoes. You know, they don't look as good, but they still look better than what we've seen around in a while. And it's $2 cheaper for this one, the same size of what you're going to pay the organic of that size. Okay, so since we're on the tomato talk here, I wanted to show they do have... The premium greenhouse tomatoes for $1.49 a pound this week, regularly $1.99 a pound. I will say they look better. They do look better. A uh, lot better than we've seen lately. So they're probably getting in a new batch. Some of them don't look so hot, but uh, yeah, for the most part, I, I would buy these. And as far as the regular size, see, like this is what I was talking about. Somebody left a comment about the Campari tomatoes saying they're still really good. Well, if you look in them here, a lot of them are kind of whittled, and I know they're still good and everything. They're just not not at what it should be for the price you're paying. Now, these are only $2.99, so way cheaper than the organic ones. But look at these Broma tomatoes. 
like these Roma tomatoes, and I know most people use Roma tomatoes for like, you know, pizzas or different, you know, cooking with stuff, but they just don't, they don't look great. They did raise their prices of the three pound red potatoes, Green Giant. These were $3.59. Now they are $3.79. You can see where they freshly changed it there. Also the five pound bag, $4.99 up to $5.49 for a five pound bag. That makes it $11 for a 10 pound bag of red potatoes. Sheesh, and the thing is, is that at least they have them because we've been seeing a lot of places that have had really bad or no red potatoes. I gotta say, these do look really good. So they have a 10 pound bag of russet potatoes for $6.59. Um, this price is lowered, this was $7.39. And I don't know if it lowered and went up again because it looks like they have a fresh sticker here. $6.59 where they put in the $59 there. So, I don't know. It's been a while since we checked potatoes and Meyer because they've been ridiculously expensive. But 10-pound bag for $6.59 is still comparatively expensive, but uh, it's lower than it was. They do have their Meyer's 80-20 ground beef, $4.39 a pound this week. That is down from $5.99 a pound that's a pretty good deal uh and and as you guys know who've been watching the channel for a long time we love myers hamburger it is it is top notch really good so we kind of had mixed reviews on the wall burgers i gotta say i wasn't that big of a fan of them uh you know we did have mixed reviews some people liked them some people thought they were too expensive they are definitely too expensive 9.99 on sale 10.99 for the regular price so yeah definitely expensive and i do not feel it's worth the money Myers is low on some products here. Oh, look at that. Bison Delmonico steak. $13.49 for that. $13.49. It is all natural. They do have some grass. Okay, so they're, they must be adding stuff. They're not getting a lot of steak. So we can see they have this packed in, but they have like this little area here that wasn't here before. Okay, so this is 100% grass fed and finished beef. $8.99 for that. And this says 15% off. So I don't. Myers is one of them places you kind of need to bring your calculator because they'll have like a buy one, get one, 40% off sale sometimes. They do got the Impossible Sausage. Um, some people were asking about that. Let's see if we can, okay, $6.99. $6.99 for four links. Oh, they're pretty big. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's not too bad of a deal. Uh, they do have the Light Life plant-based chicken fillets. Never tried these. Normally $5.99 a pack. They are on sale two for eight this week. Somebody's somebody's not gonna get the deal because there's only three here. You have to buy two, so I feel like everything is going up here at Meyer again. I think we're having one of those weeks here, guys. These ribs were $2.99 a pound for the regular price. Now they have a $3.29 a pound on sale. Now always look for these. Always look for these stickers right here. 20% off savings. So this one right here would be $9.14. Uh, I might buy that. Same goes with the St. Louis spare ribs down here. $4.29 on sale was $3.99 a pound for the regular price. That's crazy. Gotta get up real close on these Johnsonvilles because they try to fool you with these. They are on sale. $3.99. This is the smoked bratwurst jalapeno cheese and the smoked bratwurst stadium style here's the stadium brats here's the jalapeno cheese yet they don't have a sticker for the cheddar so who knows if that's on sale or not um yeah and as far as the uh uh the other ones here they're not on sale they just put these here um do have a two dollars and 54 cents Ooh, i don't know about that though that eh, don't look too hot Wow, look at all this chicken. Doesn't it look glorious? Glad to see that Myers is finally starting to get their chicken back in. I don't know who said it. Somebody left a comment the other day that this is Tyson chicken. This is not. This is Myers chicken. Um, and you can taste the difference. I love Meyer chicken. It is fantastic. Uh, let's see, $1.59 a pound. Um, that's been the regular sale price, but they've had it at this price for a while. That is for the drumsticks and the thighs. 
uh, let's see, 329 for the chicken breast, boneless chicken breast. So that's not too bad. Uh, we saw it at Myers for, or I mean, uh, we saw it at Sam's Club, 298 a pound. But more importantly, Sam's Club is starting to get their chicken breast back in. It is 98 cents a pound at Sam's Club for drum legs and chicken thighs. So good deal there. But I'll tell you what, Myers chicken is fantastic. Always got to check these little end cabinets too for like the sales for the week. Because sometimes they, they'll forget or not put the stickers out in the main, the main cabinets of where stuff is there. They do have these pork chops. $1.59 a pound on sale this week. Regularly $3.59 a pound. So great deal on that. Uh, and this is the center cut pork loin chops. $2.49 a pound. Normally $5.19 a pound. So that's a pretty good deal on those. And they have the pork shoulder butts for $1.49 a pound. Does not say the regular price, but I do believe this is regularly $1.99 a pound. $2.99 a pound. Wow. Okay, so $1.49, that's half price. A lot of people on the channel were talking about how much they love the Katie's Best Chicken. Looks like our Meyer's starting to get more and more of it in, which is good. It is a little pricey. Uh, one thing I want to point out here, Katie's Best uh, chicken thighs, $5.99. I thought that was for this. Uh, don't see a price on that. That is definitely not $5.99. It is for the chicken thighs. Uh, $7.49 for the Katie's Best Thin Chicken here. So this says $7.29 per pound here, so that's a little cheaper. $5.99 per pound on this one. So I don't know. For this, you may have to look at the stickers. I'm not really sure. It's like the savings on there doesn't equal up to the prices on the stickers. Okay, so I made the comment at Walmart the other day that we have, we're going to see these big boxes of goldfish skyrocket. Sure enough, $9.39 here now. However, they do have a buy one, get one of equal or lesser value. 50% off Pepperidge Farm goldfish select varieties. Uh, and it does include these. So buy one, get one half off. Makes it a little bit of a better deal. Still expensive, in my opinion. But they do have some different varieties here, too. So Gatorade continues to be an issue, especially around here. Um, but Meyer seems to be the worst. Uh, does look like they have more than they had in last week. Um, I don't know. We've been buying up some of the uh, Powerades, though. 89 cents a piece here this week on sale. So that's a pretty good deal. Uh, they were 88 cents a piece at uh, Kroger. Don't know if that sale's still going on, but... Uh, still less than a dollar for a regular price so it does look like Meyer is continuing to struggle to get in a lot of the Nature Valley products and a lot of granola bars and stuff like that too as we see that it's just I don't know again we saw this like seven or eight months ago the same thing a little more wiped out than this but I hope we're not heading that direction again didn't want to show they have their Hillshire Farm and Cons deli meats on sale here this week too for seven dollars that's actually not a bad deal regularly 469 here for the nine ounce 529 at kroger for the regular price this is something to remember um and these are good i like hillshire farm and cons i do not like oscar meyer uh i don't know you know it just does not taste the same i believe uh this is better it's funny they make you it make it looks like you're getting more here but this is nine ounces too so these are both exactly the same in size. These are $4.49, so a little cheaper, and they do have bigger options if you want to try and save a dollar or two. Uh, they have the full 16 ounce, $6.89 on most of these. And I know we have a lot of Oscar Mayer deli meat fans on the channel, but I'm a uh, Hillshire Farm guy. Just noticed that they have Sargento cheese on sale here. Two for $6. Do you have to buy two here? It's not like Kroger where you can just buy one. I recommend getting it anyway because Sargento just keeps going up in price. We saw at Kroger for the regular price, it's $3.99, $3.69 regular price here, so a little bit better. I know we got a lot of Sargento fans on the channel, so wanted to point this one out. Also, real quick, I did want to show that it doesn't look like it includes the sliced cheese. Usually it does, but doesn't look like it does today, so wanted to show this so that people didn't think this was on sale too. Look at this. Looks like the Swanson Chunk White Chicken Breast is on sale for $2.99 a can this week at Meyer. What a deal. Um, normally $3.49, 
but as most of you guys know, I don't know how Meyer is able to keep the price low on here. Let's let's keep that to ourselves. We saw that it was $5.49 for the regular price at Kroger. They, like I said, they had had it on sale for $4.49, but still way too expensive. Uh, $3.49 still for the regular price, $2.99 on sale so I know a lot of you guys out there like the cans of Swanson chicken um, let's see so the six cans of the members mark is now eighteen ninety eight at Sam's Club okay so uh, two nine or three let's say three dollars times six is eighteen right so you're actually getting these a little cheaper than what you're paying for the members mark Okay, so it does look like they've replenished some of the Keystone meats here. And I think that's why Keystone kind of has an issue because they have to fill in the stores before they're getting out their orders to online people at home, I guess. I don't know. If you go on their website, usually it'll say there's like a back order. It could take up to 30 to 45 days. Got a lot of comments on that. Um, but it is really good stuff. I will say it is ten nineteen for the beef. Uh, and $8.99 for the chicken and pork. So it has gone up a little bit. Does look like they're getting in a lot more tuna. Um, they, you know, it was pretty empty a couple weeks ago. Uh, they do have, you know, a couple holes here, but not really that big of an issue. At least they're getting some in. Um, let's see, dollar a can. See, dollar a can. So that is definitely worth it for Meyer for that. We've seen it go from a uh, dollar nineteen a can at some places. We've even seen it for a dollar forty a can, for the cheap Starkist. Never should be more than a dollar. Should be fifty cents a can, um, but it is what it is. I know some people were talking about the bumblebee tuna. Uh, this is the chunk light tuna. The cheapest you can get is a dollar twenty nine here, um, and they do have a lot of select varieties. We've been getting comments that people have not been able to find bumblebee tuna in the store so i, I always try to keep an eye on it uh they do have the albacore cans for $1.89 um and a lot of other different options too if you have a Meyer near you uh this kind of reminds me of Publix when we were down in florida like this is the kind of variety that both these stores have Just walking by it does look like progresso has some kind of sale going on here six dollars to 9.99 of buy buy six dollars to ten dollars of soup products dollar fifty off your next in-store purchase or buy ten or more and get three dollars off your next in-store purchase okay well i mean that's good i mean if people are stocking up on this stuff anyway plus it is only 2.19 a can 2.99 a can at kroger so much better deal here at meyer also it does look like uh campbell's is doing the same deal here yeah it says soup products so it's not very it's not to a specific brand, so you can get any one of these and you get that same deal. We just went over there. Also, two oh nine a can for Campbell's Chunky uh, here at Meyer. Two fifty nine a can at Kroger, so way cheaper here. Hey, so it does look like they lowered the price of the Ben's Original Ready Rice. These were two thirty nine, two twenty nine here. They pulled the Kroger's trick. Maybe they'll sell more now. So Meyer might be the place to come if you're wanting different types of cooking oils. I'm not going to go over each one here. That'll take all day. But they do have a ton. A lot more than we've seen pretty much in any other store. This is another thing that really reminds me of Publix. They had a very large variety of different cooking oils and stuff. Does look like Meyer is back well loaded on macaroni and cheese. That's good to see. They're even getting their own brand back in. Wow, I ain't seen this in a while. 69 cents a box. That's pretty good. This three cheese one's pretty good too and the white cheddar. We've tried them both Really good 69 cents. That's the same price we saw before they left I know a few months ago a lot of store brand products have been hard to get in Kroger Meyer, You know uh, great value was hard to get in some months ago at Walmart, but they've started getting them back in also get a lot of comments on the little cups of macaroni here and it looks like this is the most full i've seen in any store look at this even got a cracker barrel one it's a little expensive 7.49 for four of them they do have the craft in five dollars i don't know that just seems outrageous same for the velveta um and a bunch of different ones they do have the meyer version two dollars and fifty cents so that's pretty good deal two for five dollars uh, you know, and it's good. I mean, I actually, you know what? I've never tried the cups of the Meyer though, only the ones that we've made ourselves. But judging from how good that was, I would I would say these are probably pretty decent. 
on to my favorite part of the trip here. We are going to go over some of the coffee options. $8.99 on sale for the Silver Bridge. We got some good comments on this coffee. Might try some of that sometime. Uh, and they do have the Dunkin' uh, Ground Coffee, $7.39 on sale, down from $9.39. And they do still have the McCafe Coffee Ground Coffee, 12 ounces, two for $14, making them $7 a piece. Uh, and that deal is good till the 23rd. So yeah, that one's lasted a good couple weeks there. No sales on the Pete's Coffee. Did just notice that they have the Fredericks brand. Uh, some people were asking, uh, about the Fredericks brand, it is Meyer. It's a Meyer brand. Um, I have a couple family members who drink the Michigan Cherry. They love it. Two for five dollars. That's a great deal. Seven seven forty nine for the regular price. Yeah. Yeah. One good thing they've got Pike's Place, or I'm sorry, Starbucks. I guess I should say Starbucks to include all of them. But this is the one I get. Um, ground coffee, seven ninety nine down from nine forty nine. Uh, it's good to see a little bit of a sale on it. That does include the pods, uh, down from $9.49 to $7.99 on sale. And they do have a lot of the Green Mountain coffee products on sale, part of the two for $14. Uh, original uh, donut shop, Green Mountain coffee, and they do have the Dunkin' Donuts pods for $6.89. One thing I do like is the donut shop blend of the Myers here. It is a hundred count. Of the Keurig cups for $25.99, and that is their other ones too. Uh, breakfast blend I've tried is pretty good. Never tried the Colombian, but these are all a hundred of the Keurig cups for $25.99, so that's a pretty decent deal. Um, and they do have the smaller ones on sale if you want to try it. Uh, let's see, they do have the donut shop. Uh, they got it stuck in there. Yep, still $3.99. Um, yeah, so. If you just want to try something, that's what I would recommend doing is getting the smaller one before you buy the bigger one to make sure you like it. Also, it won't go to waste because if you have friends or family over, that's the one that you dish out. No sales on Folgers this week either. $10.79 is the regular price here, though, for some of the bigger containers. Um, $11.79 at Kroger. Let's see. Now, this is the... Okay, so this is... Yep, the 19.2 ounces, like I was saying in our last video for $10.79, um, $12.79, 12, no, it was 12 something at Sam's Club for 33.9 ounces. So much better deal there. Somebody was asking about Meyer eggs. These are the cage free for $2.59. For 12 of them doesn't seem like too terrible of a deal considering how expensive they've gotten. Uh, and they have some jumbo eggs, $2.79. Uh, for the cage free and they have Eglin's best which we get a lot of comments on uh, for wait a minute white eggs 24 count so this is a, these eggs are in the wrong spot I don't see the 24 count here's the 18 count Eglin's best um, 429 for those uh, let's see oh, man, I got some stuff in the wrong places here the cheapest ones are gonna be the uh, penny smart grade A $2.19 for 12 eggs. It's pretty cheap. And as we saw last week, Myers milk did go up from $3.09 a gallon to $3.29 a gallon. Uh, Kroger's is $1.99 a gallon if you live around here. Um, yeah, it's, uh, we're, Kroger milk, in my opinion, is much better. $4.99 for the jug of almond breeze here. We're always getting comments on this stuff, so I like to just kind of glance over just to make sure that we're getting it in we remember a couple months ago a lot of this couldn't find the lactate milk we have a couple people on the channel that drink this uh this has gone up right 639 it's been a couple weeks but it was 599 639 uh now 449 for the lactate in the carton yeah it looks like land of lakes butter finally caught up here at meyer too this was 529 for a while now it's 570 Boy, I'll tell you, these prices just continue to get more and more ridiculous. Uh, $7.89 for the family size thing of Country Crock. Uh, we get some comments on these. $6.29 here for Country Crock. Now, this was $6.49 at Kroger. Somebody had said that it had gone up to $7, so we're going to have to check. Um, they do have the Myers butter. They got the Challenge butter for $4.89. I haven't seen that for less than $5 anywhere, so I know a couple of you guys like that. And they do have the Myers butter here for 319, which 
the cheapest on the shelf. Okay, so I wanted to check out the baby formula. Look at this, guys. This is great. They're getting in a lot more than they've had. Um, this is good to see. It looks like Similac, you know, is starting to get more stuff in here. And again, thank you to everyone around the world who has been sending us uh, baby formula so that, you know, because it's been crazy. I mean, it's still low, right? But I mean, look at this. It's the most I've seen at Meyer in months. They do have the sensitive here of the Similac. Look at this, $7.79. I haven't seen this less than $10 anywhere. They got the soy isomel for $8.99 here. That's cheaper than anywhere. Yeah, these have been $9.99 pretty much everywhere. Uh, they got the NeoSure here that we saw at Kroger's for $10. Uh, 32 ounces, same size. $9 here, so a dollar cheaper. Yeah, look at this. So the prices of the six packs of the Sensitive Similac and the 360 total are still $16.99 here at Meyer. Okay, everywhere else that we've seen, it's been $15.99. So Kroger, Walmart, $15.99. So yeah, definitely a little more expensive here. They do have some of the good start down there and some of the infamil. And right around the corner here, we've got a little end cap with a bunch more of the Meyer brand here and a lot more of the infamil and some more of the Similac six packs. Uh, yeah, it's good to see you guys. Well, guys, that was our trip to Meyer. That's all the time I have, unfortunately. Wasn't able to cover everything. Some okay deals here. I really wanted to check out a lot of the produce and the meat because we've been hearing in the comments that it's been going really high in price again. Sure enough, produce looks like it's gone up a little bit. Uh, not as many sales on meat. Chicken and stuff like that's the same price as it, what, as it has been. More importantly, we're starting to see more and more chicken breasts come in. Uh, because we've been getting comments that people haven't been able to find chicken breasts anywhere. So good to see that starting to come back in. And the baby formula. Good to see a bunch more baby formula coming in. Because uh, that has been a major issue. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember the adventure is out there.